What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube logo using Photoshop. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop. Uh, once you have Photoshop opened up, go to File, New. Make sure that the width is 800 by 800. And for the background, choose whatever color you guys would like. So I'm um, going to just leave it black and go ahead and click Create. Now next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background image to our project so just go to google type in uh, radio background and choose any of these images you guys would like so i already chose an image for myself so in order to open up an image in photoshop go to file place the image and open up the image that you chose so go ahead and double click and if you guys want this specific image i'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can download it but uh, if it looks like this just go ahead and resize it Make sure you click on this button before you resize anything in Photoshop and just go ahead and make it bigger. And that looks good. So go ahead and click OK. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add our text. So go ahead and click on the text tool. The font I'm going to use for this tutorial is called Rem and Vibes. So I'm going to leave the link in the description so you guys can download uh, this font if you guys want to use it or you guys can use any font you guys would like. Go ahead and type the first letter of your channel name. So I'm going to just go ahead and type the letter S and go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and resize. So go ahead and click Control T and resize your letter. So make it as big as you guys would like. Make sure you click on this button before you resize your letter. I think that looks good right there. So go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and um, add some effects to our letter. So go ahead and uh, right click on your text layer. Go to blending options. Uh, we're going to add a drop shadow. Uh, just go ahead and copy these settings for the spread 30, size 30. And we're going to add a gradient overlay. Uh, bring the opacity down to 40. And we're going to add bevel and embossed. And go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do it. We're going to uh, edit our text. We're going to add like a little effect to it. So go ahead and click on the polygon or lasso tool. And before you do anything, make sure you rasterize your text. So in order to do that, you right click. Go to rasterize layer styles. And once you do that, you could go ahead and edit your text. So we're going to go ahead and delete this little section right here. So we're going to start from down here and go all the way down. To about there. Bring it up. And connect it. And it should look something like this. And go ahead and click delete. And you should get this right here. Now we're going to do the same thing down here. So we're going to start from down here. Bring it all the way down to about here. Bring it up. And connect it. Go ahead and click delete and go ahead and click select, deselect and it should look something like this. Now once you're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a circle around our logo. So go ahead and click on the clip tool uh, for the fill, make sure it's uh, black. And for the stroke, we're going to select white. and the size uh, bring it up to 20 so I think that's good and just go ahead and draw your circle and we're gonna move it and then I'll uh, move your eclipse layer right under your uh, text and it should look like this all right guys so once you think you're done with your logo and you think it looks good in order to save it go to file export export as and make sure that the format is a PNG uh, and then go ahead and click export all name it whatever you guys want and go ahead and click save and yeah guys this is how you create a YouTube logo using Photoshop so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one Listen.